It's been a huge start to the term for our AFL girls, intermediate and senior teams who are both through to the Herald Sun Shield State Finals. And our netballers have accomplished similar feats with entry into the State Finals. Caitlin Grieve was runner-up in the Plain English Speaking Award State Finals and Michael Zhang, Charles Lewis and Hamish Hare have all been selected to be members of the Victorian Youth State Piping Band that are travelling to Belfast for international competitions. It's pretty exciting to be standing in the Larratt Common Room as it takes shape. We know just how important these communal spaces are in contributing to students' wellbeing and their sense of connection in the house. We're hoping that this space will be finished before the end of the term. Well, who would have thought the dark common room could look so good? It was a renovation that resembled the block a little more than we had hoped, with us discovering on the Thursday before school was to return that we needed to replace the entire floor. But our builders stepped up to the plate and had it all done by the time the boys were back in the house on the Monday. We're really excited because we've got images of the honour boards which we're going to frame and put on the walls in the coming weeks. You may have seen recent media reports about potential reductions to independent schools funding from the federal government. This is as a result of the work of the National Schools Review Board. As any reduction in funding has the potential to impact fee adjustments, we're monitoring the situation very carefully with Independent Schools Victoria and all other independent schools across Victoria. I'll be in touch later in the term as more information emerges with an update on this situation. It's been a brilliant start to the term for our performing arts students who brought together such an impressive performance of curtains across four shows. We congratulate all of the actors and musicians that were involved, as well as thanking those staff who dedicated so much of their time to this performance. Our junior school students' performance at Wakakiri was such that it has been recognised with three judges awards and they are now in contention for the national finals. Once again Corals has just been a great example of the house spirit that exists in the school and a wonderful celebration of music by every member of the senior school. Well we received almost nothing but delight about the new junior school playground except for one parent who used to measure their children's growth from one year to the next against the bricks at the front of the school on the wall that we've now rendered. We'll have to work out some alternative. We now move to the northern playground where we've got a fantastic facility planned to be installed over the next two months. This is the photo bomb to end all photo bombs. There we were just capturing the last scenes and these guys all insisted on being in it. It's hard not to be excited about the term ahead. When you look at the smiles on these faces, 